Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Um, it's going to be the second upload for today. I told you guys I was going to start pumping the content um, for FIBA 20. And this one's going to be a little bit of an interesting one. And it's a little bit different, right? So I just kind of want to explain it before we get into it. And then we'll get into it. So um, if you enjoy it, guys, drop a thumbs up. I put a once watch prediction earlier today on the channel. If you guys want to check that out, it is on the channel. Um, up and ready to go. Um, so the topic tonight is going to be Patreon, right? And Patreon is something that I've never publicly spoke about. I've never really tweeted about it. I just kind of joke about it when people say something and I say, join the Patreon. Now, a lot of you guys on YouTube may be wondering what the hell is a Patreon? Uh, a Patreon is basically a way, right? To support a creator. So if you go on, um, if you go on to foot, uh, not footman, sorry, that's the wrong view. This one right here, you guys can see real quickly that this is a website that, Essentially, you can, um, you know, you can sign up and then you can subscribe to somebody's Patreon, right? So that's the concept of it. You're subscribing to somebody's um, journal. You, some of you guys may be around the community and seeing that people have journals, right? And you could subscribe to a journal and basically you could pay that guy a certain amount of money to tell you the, the basically the buys he's making um, or not making, right? Or, or trends of a market and stuff. Now, the the community in terms of trading man it's it's gotten crazy right and like i think it's really taken off and i and i love that i love that people are going all out for trading i love that that is a thing however i i, I do have a problem with a lot of these patrons and it's not it's not my business to have a problem because well it's not my business but there are a lot of copy and paste patrons right and and what is the Patreon for, guys? Well, I'm going to specify right now the patron right now uh that i'm talking about these are trading patrons basically what's going on is people are um, people are making patreons, guys, to to make some money, like a side hustle. A lot of them, it's a side hustle. Some of them, it's a full time job. There are some bigger patreons that probably get three to four hundred users a month. It's five dollars a pop, and when you do the math of that, that's a good amount of money per month. It's enough to do it if you wanted to with something else um, or not. And now coming up on FIFA 20, there's some patrons that are now going to be ten, fifteen, twenty dollars a month. And that's not a lot of money. It's not when you think about it because, well, let me let me be honest with you. Let's go open up FIFA, FIFA 19 and let me show you guys because a $20 per month subscription to a Patreon, right? When you spend FIFA points, 12,000 FIFA points cost you uh, $99 in US, US currency, $100, uh, maybe a little bit cheaper if you have that EA access. Now, with these FIFA points, you're only going to probably make 100 to 150K early on. Maybe more. Maybe you make like two to 300K early on if you pack a decent player. Uh, but that's unlikely, as we all know. So, yeah, when you think about it, subscribing to a Patreon for a month for $20, it's not that much in, in hindsight, right? Because you're going to spend a fifth of the money you're going to spend for this. I just wanted to make this video and give you guys some warning, man. Because some of these patrons that I see, um, I'm going to be honest with you, are people that I've... You guys know, man. I've been in this community now for like three plus years. Um, I've been playing FIFA for eight years. And some of these guys that I'm watching, man, are people that... To be honest, didn't have a cell of a, a knowledge about what to do a year ago and are now making these patrons, right? And are, and are asking people to subscribe to them for a certain amount of money per month. And these poor people are blindly going in and just giving these people money and hope to make coins, right? So that's a bigger problem that I have is that I, I feel bad for some of the people that are the customer slash consumer that are kind of just spending money, I think, to a bunch of patrons uh, to try to get as much knowledge as possible, um, so the, the, the first problem would be that, right? You've got a lot of people that don't know who these people really are. There's not, they're not really streaming. They're not really doing anything. They're kind of just posting in a discord and giving investments. Now, the first problem with that is the people that don't stream or don't do exclusive stuff, um, is that when they have the discord, a lot of the times I can tell you guys right now, I have five people that I know that have subscribed to patrons that took screenshots of the patrons buys and sent them over to other friends. So the friends that were getting the information weren't paying a dime per month and this kid was paying money and he was giving the buys to other people. So let's say you're in a Patreon with 200 other people. Let's say that 200 other people subscribe per month to Nick Run the Foot Market to get trading tips. Um, the odds are that not only 200 people are seeing those tips, it's about 500 and that's got to be realistic. You guys have to understand that if somebody subscribes to a Patreon, there's a very likely chance that he is sending it over to a friend or sending it to friends, plural, um, because they, they are getting the information as well. So just know when somebody in a Patreon or, or the master of that Patreon or the, the guy who made it posts about a buy, maybe look into the buy, maybe make sure it's not inflated. For example, um, when you go over to the market guys and you look potentially at something let's say there's supposed to be an spc tomorrow with high chemistry 
And Danny Carvajal, if you look at the flipping hourly last hour, was 8K, and now you look and he's 10K. And the patron guy said to buy it. Don't go ahead and buy it. Make sure that you watch it, right? That's obviously the buy of the day from the Patreon. You go ahead, you watch the buy. Don't just go ahead and blindly buy it because your dude said to buy it. That's kind of my bigger thing. Now, what is an ideal Patreon in my opinion? I think an ideal Patreon is somebody that... I, I think this whole thing with... There's a lot of people that advertise their Patreon as, Hey, I'm a top 100 trader. Join my Patreon, right? I don't love that one because I think that just because you finish top 100, it doesn't mean that you know anything about trading or that you are a guy that's going to be able to help somebody with trading. I think I think the thing about trading and the thing about a patron that you should use to your uh, ability is learning how to trade, learning how to read the market, learning specific things that you didn't know before. And once you learn those things or once you learn potentially how the guy in the Patreon thinks, then you leave the Patreon. You're good on your own. That should be the goal of a Patreon. You join one, you learn how to trade, you learn the concepts, and you get out because you just don't need to learn anything else once you get into the Patreon or once you leave the Patreon. You just don't need anything else after that. Now, there is a certain ability, in my opinion, if you finish top 10, top 15, if you're in the top 15, you know what to do. Let me give you an example. This guy right here, Ray Fifa Kadabra, he's one of my good friends. He's German. He's probably better than everybody else on this list, I would say. For, I know this dude personally. He's very good. I would probably put him against most people in this top 10. I don't know who this dude is, but most other people, I, I really rate this kid. I think he knows what the hell is going on. And I always respect people that know what's going on with the market, that know how to buy and during panic, that know certain things like that. I don't know what's on of these guys in the top 100, but... I really wouldn't be joining a Patreon just because somebody says they're in the top 100 when they're on the edge of the top 100. That's just a joke, in my opinion. It doesn't mean they know anything. You should be looking at people that consistently get market trends right. Like, so for example, on my channel, I get 80 to 90% of my trends right. I do get some wrong, but that's inevitable. I mean, if you're making every trend right, then something's wrong. You know information. Um, but look, I post daily to my, to my channel, right? And I know whether somebody joins a Patreon or not, it doesn't matter. I think you guys, a lot of you guys will still watch me. Um, I pretty much showcase on Twitch and YouTube exactly what I do at every moment. And you guys are seeing basically a video a day or two about a market watch, about this going on, or this promo's coming out this day, and you guys gotta act accordingly and do this for that day, because if that promo comes out, this is gonna happen, right? I think I give you guys a really in-depth look at what's going on. So I think the per there's there's always the idea or there's there's a potential of a perfect mix where you could subscribe to somebody's Patreon, maybe it's five or ten dollars a month. And maybe you pick up five moves a month that you didn't know before. Maybe the guy posts 50 moves and you hate 45 of them, but you actually like five of them. You get five more moves a month. Maybe I don't talk about them. And then you get my daily market watch videos or my daily channel video channel streams, right? Because next year, I'm doing a lot of stuff next year, guys. I'm going to have daily market watch videos, a lot of player reviews on my second channel. I'm going to be pushing to qualify for an event next year. I want to go to an event, an EA event for FIFA. I don't know if I'm good enough, but I want to try because I got damn good at the end of this year. Um, and I don't play this game in a broken manner. So I'm hoping that I can do that. So I've got a lot going on personally, but I'm still gonna be able to prepare everybody with the ideas of the menus, with the ideas of the concept um, of the market and things like that. And uh, I, think that it, I think that it's something that you guys should all look to evaluate though, man, because I think there's a lot of people going around on Twitter looking into Patreon and, and looking into that. So I think that you have to do this comparison of, let me tell you this, right? If you spend FIFA points, okay? next year and i'll make a specific video about fifa points if you are planning on spending fifa points next year you guys should think about how much you're spending versus how much a patreon is for example my idea of a ideal patreon would be somebody that i know somebody that i've seen all their moves throughout fifa 19 or fifa 18 and somebody that doesn't have a ton of spots in their discord or their patreon right let's say there's only 50 spots available and it's 20 bucks a spot or 40 but 40 spots available 25 dollars a spot but let's say this dude is proven he's top 20 He's top 15 and there's not 300 other minions in the Patreon. Let's just say there's 40 people. You want to be in something as close to a one-on-one -on -one service as possible. Um, if you're a guy that's planning on going from FIFA points uh, to going to a Patreon. That would be the idea. And if you're going to spend $500 on FIFA points, then yeah, you should be looking at joining a $25 to a $50 a month Patreon. If the Patreon is going to be extremely exclusive um, or extremely from a really good guy with not a ton of people in it. That's where you should be really looking. Now, there may be some really good dudes who have a 300, 300 spot Patreon that have a certain tier, that maybe the tier is higher. And that totally means, let me tell you guys, if I'm doing a Patreon, that totally means that I would give that tier more attention and that tier more uh, things. 
you probably shouldn't be looking for something that's like a direct, can I ask this guy a question at any moment, uh, thing like that. But look, this is crazy. I mean, all I see on my Twitter timeline now is people advertising a Patreon. These were guys that I knew that just traded for fun, and now we're trying to monetize the concept of, hey, subscribe to me, give me your money, and I'll try to help you out make points. And I understand that hustle, um, but I think you guys got to be realistic in your evaluation, right? And think about it. Think about it, right? Because early on, there's not a ton of stuff to do. I'll tell you guys that much. For Patreon, early on, your Patreon is going to be best during probably sometime in the middle of the year. That's when you'll be able to make the most coins. Early on, I don't think you'll be able to make the most coins because, well, you're not going to have a lot of coins. So early on, you're going to have to be focused on trading, grinding rewards, and things like that. I don't think there's actually a ton of money to be made early on. So I think that the Patreon, I would not join a Patreon first month of FIFA. I just don't, I don't think that's the best opportunity for you guys to make the most out of your money that you would spend on a Patreon. Um, and I did want to talk about really quickly uh, from the shield because the shield is a guy that I'm good friends with in this community. He actually posted an article about this um, Patreon situation um, and, I'll, and I'll link him down below, but he talked about this. He said the FIFA trading community had an amazing growth over the last year. Uh, with this, we have seen many foot trading patrons emerge with the promising of helping players reach an end game team without spending a crazy amount of FIFA points. This amount of FIFA points that you would hypothetically spend is only getting larger due to numerous reasons. Uh, people want to be compensated for helping bridge that gap. Many patrons are worth and stand by their promises. In this article, we will discuss the patron is for you and what things you are joining, right? So this is like, this is kind of an advertisement for the patron, um, how you would get it. Um, so th this is an interesting right thing, right? Because this is Nashil has put together like good criteria for a Patreon professional approach. They're running a business and they need to treat it as such. I've heard from a few people how the Patreon insulted them, calling them stupid or not getting something quickly. This can never be how they treat you. So this is the only issue that I do have with the Patreon guys. It's really hard to know exactly what's going on in a Patreon or in a trading you know, guide discord. It's really hard to know what is going on in that discord specifically until you're in it. And that's kind of the problem. So make sure if you guys are thinking about getting into one, I stand by the fact that I think you guys don't need to spend any money on FIFA points. I'm fine. If you spend money on FIFA points, I'm not a guy that says no FIFA points, do whatever the hell you guys want, but I don't think you need to spend money on the patrons. I think through rewards with weekend league or division rivals and with following daily streams and market watches, I just don't see why you would need to buy one. Uh, or get into one, especially when you're seeing exactly what I'm doing. Um, I'm confident in telling you guys that. I don't think that there's another, there's a reason to do that. But this is all, again, if you're looking into doing one. This is true, right? That's another one. Timely responses is important. I think you guys got to be getting info within 12, 24 hours. Um, yeah, this is a big thing. Rationale behind suggestions. You want to understand why moves are being made and not just blindly. There will be a lot of patrons that will probably just tell you, um, buy this card or buy that card. I can tell you guys right now, I personally know some people that have told patrons to buy cards to cover their butt because they've bought cards too high and they don't want to lose coins and they've literally sabotaged their patrons to buy cards. So make sure the kind of dude you know you're dealing with before you sign up and you, and you get into bed with him. Make sure you know who you're dealing with, the kind of personality that he is and things like that and time and effort, right? This is important as well. Make sure you're getting the daily information. Make sure even if you know, even if there's nothing going on in the market for that given day, make sure that that Patreon guy is sending you information about what's going on just in general. Maybe it's not even market-based for that day. Hey guys, there's no market today. EA is going to drop this and then we're still on track to do this later in the week. So the concept of Patreon is promising, right? Because a lot of them are a huge discount on FIFA points. A lot of them, you're, you're going to spend $20 a month or $10 a month instead of the $100 a month and you probably will make more coins than a stack of FIFA points. But just keep in mind, that a few things, right? You're going to have a lot of other people looking at the same stuff as you, which is the problem. And there's going to be a lot of people in the Patreon. They're going to be sending that to other people, which is something that I would keep in mind. And you know what? Maybe if you guys are doing an experiment for a month, this is not an ad. This is just for me to kind of clear you guys or, or keep you guys updated on the concept. This is not, this is, this is something that is crazy right now though, man. It's all around the Twitter community. Everybody's like, yo, which Patreon am I joining? You know, I, there are a few names that I would recommend. I'm not going to recommend it because obviously guys, look, this is a, in some way, right? This is uh, other businesses, right? And I'm not going to just hype up somebody else who's got another business. I think you guys got to be careful if you're looking into doing it. I think it's something that look around, maybe look around at some reviews, things like that. Talk to some people that maybe have been in certain discords, ask them what they liked, ask them what they didn't like. Trust me, the Twitter trading community is endless. If you're not on Twitter yet and you watch my videos, get on Twitter because Twitter is massive. Um, there's so many people in the community and I think it's important that you guys look around, you guys see what's going on and you, and you really evaluate it before you do it. Thanks for watching the video today, guys. Hopefully the video helped you. I'm going to be here with you guys, daily trading videos, daily market videos. Um, something that I would recommend is like, 
don't just subscribe to one because you feel like you have to. I'm going to be uploading daily videos for you guys, market trends, things like that, things you should do. And again, I'll be showcasing another year of, I've run a road to glory all year. You guys watch what I do every single day. That's how I do it. All right. So that's how we do it. Try to familiarize yourselves best with trading. I don't know if a patron directly can do that for you. I think they will tell you a lot of purchases, but not necessarily how to trade. So thank you guys for watching the video today. See you guys in a video soon. Peace out.